Hi, this is JP from Northern Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Arkham Horror LCG campaign playthrough. And this time we are continuing the Feast of Hemlock Vale campaign with uh, Wilson Richards. And uh, we are in the Night One scenario and we are playing the Twisted Hollow. So uh, before the scenario, uh, we had to do the night prelude, which I did off camera. And we basically talked to Theo and we talked to Judith Park. So we got one experience from both and also added one uh, mark to the relationship level for both. Then in the setup of this scenario, uh, we decided to, when confronted by uh, Mother Rachel, we decided to not tell her what we were up to. So uh, we will be adding one uh, Elder Ding token to the Chaos Pack for the remainder of the campaign. Uh, what's up in this scenario? Basically Bertie has gone missing. We haven't seen him uh, after the morning. So uh, if you recall um, or have read the interlude, Bertie went off on his own to the forest and we are basically going after him um, during nightfall. So we have the darkness level here. It will be referenced uh, with other card effects. So the higher the darkness level, the worse it gets for us. We also have uh, the pursuit area where enemies will be spawning. So um, that is basically what is happening in the scenario. Uh, location placement is crucial. Um, every location is connected to um, uh, left and right and up and down. So the um, adjacent location is connected. Uh, I won't go into detail uh, of my deck list. The, I had 80 experience, so I added two copies of Chainsaw, uh, Chainsaw into Wilson Church deck and removed the sledgehammers. So now we are set up to do the uh, Chainsaw Massacre build with the chainsaws added and uh, I am starting again with one damage and one horror because of the in the thick of it uh, permanent I got in deck creation. Uh, we also set up aside uh, Theo and uh, Judith and we start the game with Dr. Rosa Marquez and we also uh, put Birdie uh, Musgrave out of play. Uh, because we told Mother Rachel we are, uh, or we didn't tell her what we were up to, uh, we start the game with the Veil Lantern uh, without the boon. So uh, the difference with this is that um, this needs an e action to exhaust to look at the revealed side of a connecting a location and then we may move to that location ignoring its force effect. The boon version is a bit different. It doesn't take up an action. It's it's a reaction, so you can do it uh, without spending an action, uh, but it's still exhausts, so you can only do it per, uh, once per turn. Uh, because we are playing a true solo, uh, even though the Bay Lantern takes up a hand slot, uh, it is stated in the setup that it doesn't take up a hand slot when playing uh, one or two player. In three player game it would. Uh, I'm <laughs> I'm really happy because the chainsaw is taking up both of my hand slots and even with the Tinker um, uh, event I want to have some uh, inspect, inspecting tool in play in addition. But yeah, uh, nothing else to say then uh, let's see how this goes. So without further delay, let's get started. We are ready to start, so let's draw our opening hand. And we get Old Keering, Venture, Winging It, Lockpicks and Jury Rig. Uh, well, uh, I really want to find at least the chainsaw or prepare for the worst, so I am 
at this point keeping the old key ring and mulliganing all of this. So one, two, three, four cards. And we get Edge Hook, uh, we redraw Hasty Repairs, uh, we get Push to the Limit, Emergency Cash and Push to the Limit, so not a good, not a good start at all. I think we are doing a lot of drawing into our deck before we can start, start doing anything. Uh, but yeah, uh, before we start, let's uh, read the Act and Agenda which we haven't done yet. So, Deepening Dark. The silent wood drums with the sound of hungry creatures and stalking shadows. Forced after a location is revealed, put, a loca uh, put locations from the top of the wood's deck into play above, below, to left and to the right of that location. Forced, when the investigator phase ends, each investigator at a dark location must either draw an enemy in pursuit or with the highest evade or take one horror cannot be cancelled. So we don't want to be in a dark location. Oh yeah, and we have the wood stack over here. And uh, uh, yeah, because we didn't tell Mother Rachel where we were going, uh, we had a random location as the starting location. And then we put four uh, uh, around it, unrevealed side face up. And then we have a desperate search. There must be some trace or clue of Bertie in the woods. You only hope you aren't already too late. Each enemy without spawn instructions gains spawn. When this enemy is drawn from the encounter deck, put this enemy into the pursuit area. Objective at the end of the round, if each investigator is at the same lair location, they may spend the requisite clues as a group to advance. And we need three clues, so... Uh, well, even though we don't have the chainsaw uh, at, right at the start, we at least have the old keyring, so... I'm as a first action playing that. So uh, at least we can start investigating just using these keys. And uh, hmm, yeah, so uh, it comes into play one cheaper that uh, I think I didn't use that ability last, round, uh, last game, but it, it doesn't matter. And uh, second action, we will investigate. And I'm not even using the key ring. This is a one shroud location because this is the uh, the shroud is X. X is the current darkness level. After you discover a clue at this location, look at the, the revealed side of a connecting location. You may move to that location. So I'm thinking of using that ability. Also, we'll do if we get this clue, this. Um, Codex entry for Dr. Rosa Marquez. So investigating four versus one minus one. We grab this clue. Then um, first off, I'll look at the revealed side. I think we'll go to the right and we have the blighted glade. Two shroud, one clue. Uh, Force after you reveal Blighted Glade, choose an enemy in the pursuit with the lowest fight and spawn it at this location. So we don't have anything in the pursuit yet, so it's safe to move here. We'll move here. We uh, add locations. Uh, we can't add here because there's already a location there, so we'll add it like so. And uh, now, uh, so we won't forget, we'll read the entry for Dr. Marquez. Dr. Marquez leans on her cane as she studies a balsam fir with spiraling branches. Glinting light in the trees of her faint illumination. Looking up, you see a shining blue node uh, shining blue nodes. I've never seen something so beautiful, the professor says, unable to contain her wonder. A moment later, she looks at you sharply. Don't you dare tell Bertie I said that, or oh, I'll tell Armitage you died on the survey. Choose any location in play. You may reveal that location, ignoring its forced effect. Okay. 
So now we get to reveal another location. Um, yeah, might as well uh, see if we should go this way. So it's another crooked path. So that's actually a great location to reveal. And uh, yeah, and now we need to fill, fill in the gaps. So we'll add more location because that location got revealed. So we only have one card left in the wood stack, but that's okay. Uh, last action, I'm going to draw a card. We need to find a weapon. Uh, well, we found Jury Rig, so not that helpful. And that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw another emergency cast and gain a resource. So that is the first round. Let's go to the next round. Mm, we add a doom and the threshold is for the doom is three. And counter card is bloom. Choose the nearest flora enemy and add and heal all damage from it. If that enemy is elite, heal two damage per investigator from it instead. If no damage was healed by this effect, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a flora card is discarded and draw it. Okay, so we are looking for the flora keyword. Uh, that is uh, hazard and flora keyworded. So at least it's not an enemy yet. So revelation put Psychotropic spores in the play in your threat area, limit one per investigator. The first time you draw one or more cards from your deck, each round take one direct horror action test. Uh, intellect 3, if you succeed, discard uh, psychotropic spores. You may take one direct horror for this test to automatically succeed. So uh, we really need to get rid of this because we are drawing cards, but uh, let's see. I think I'll just test it using the... Uh, I'm committing the add hook to this test. So I am testing 6 versus 3. First action, trying to get rid of this. And it is a 0, so that is a success. We get rid of that. Second action, we might as well investigate here. And do I want to commit anything? No. Uh, four versus two. Minus one. We get the clue. And last action, we are drawing another card. It is winging it. And we go to upkeep. We draw matchbox and gain a resource. Okay, that is that round, still no weapon. Hopefully we get an, a weapon before more enemies or enemies at all are starting to spawn. So yeah, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom and counter card for this round is another psychotropic spores. Well, that, that's a shame. Uh, again, we need to get rid of that because we are drawing cards until we find the correct one. So I'm thinking of committing the matchbox actually. I think I'll just uh, use an action and take one horror. Uh, we, uh, we can... We can take direct horror just to get rid of that without spending any cards. Uh, then I will move and we will investigate and uh, four versus one. I'm not using the old keyring yet again. Plus one. So we'll get this clue. Then we get to do this uh, after you discover a clue at this location. Look at the revealed side of connecting location. You may move to that location. So let's keep going uh, forward. And, or looking at forward. So corpse grow. Trees route one clue. Uh, forced. After you reveal corpse grow, take one horror. Uh, we ignore that. After you successfully investigate corpse grower, take one horror. That's not good. Mm, but... Well, 
we will move there either way. So that is the last location coming into play. No enemies will go to upkeep, lockpicks not helping, and the one resource. So that is that round. Oh yeah, um, before we end our round actually. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We still ha are in, in the hand limit, so no, no worries there. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a Doom, so the agenda advances. So we get Gathering Darkness. Add one resource to the current darkness level. If the current darkness level is 6+, plus and you are playing in campaign mode, each surviving investigator is defeated and suffers one physical trauma. Otherwise, perform the following. So, uh, just so we don't forget, uh, we are at darkness level 2. Put each enemy in the in enemy at a dark location and not engage with an investigator into the pursuit area. There are none. Shuffle each unrevealed dark location along with the top two cards of the woods deck and place them on top of the woods deck. Clip each real empty location, empty dark location to its unrevealed side. And uh, yeah, let's do that. So. Uh, we'll remove all of these. And because there's no deck, we'll just shovel these and I'm scooching these like so, these flip like so. And we forgot to put a clue here. I'm not actually even thinking of getting this clue because it deals horror. Okay. Then put locations from the top of the wood stack into play above, below, to the left and to the right of each location with an investigator. And lastly, the investigators with the Veil Lantern test uh, will power Axe, where Axe is the current darkness level. If they fail, they must choose an enemy in the pursuit to spawn, engage with them. So it doesn't matter because there's no enemies in the pursuit. So we just test 3 versus 2 and nothing happens basically. Minus 3. Unless some uh, special token would do something. We haven't uh, actually said what everything is. So, uh, axe is the our skulls are axe. Axe is the current darkness level. Uh, Cultist, which I think we don't have, is minus one heal, one damage from an investigator. Ta tablet, I think those we don't don't have either. Is minus three. If you fail, find the enemy in the pursuit with the highest evade. Spawn it at your location. And elder things, which yeah, we have two in the bag, is minus four. If you fail, take one horror. So that, that is bad, but uh, yeah. Okay, well, I think, uh, yeah, so we flip this card back over. Then we still haven't done our encounter card, which is lurking fear. Test agility tree. This test gets plus two difficulty if you your location is dark. If you fail, you must either take two damage, find the enemy in the pursuit with the highest fight, and spawn it engage with you. So we can't pick that uh, second ability because there are no enemies in the pursuit and the game state wouldn't change. There is nothing we can commit to the test. So we are testing three versus three, and looks like we are taking two damage. Well, it's a zero, so we don't take any damage. Okay, mm, so that's that's a good thing. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. We'll start by drawing a card. We'll draw a card, and we'll draw a card. Ah, uh, nothing useful. 
that was a stupid turn, but yeah, we, we need to find a weapon before we are able to advance. And uh, we are at a lair location, but we are not spending the clues before we um, find the weapon. So that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw wolf mask and we have to discard down to um, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Actually, yeah, we'll discard winging it. It's better from the discard either way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We still have 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, we don't need to uh, push to the limit. Okay, well, that is our turn, and we can... I think I took a resource. Uh, it doesn't matter. We have plenty of resources. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. Encounter card for this round is... It's the first enemy of the game. And it goes into the pursuit area. Uh, so stalking hybrid is a three fight X hell three evade uh, creature monster mutated and uh, hunter alert. X is the current darkness level. Prey investigator with the veil lantern only forced after stalking hybrid attacks you. If you control the veil lantern, flip the veil lantern to its unlit side and place it at your location. And I'll put the pursuit area over there. Okay, well, uh, nothing has changed. We need to find a weapon. So we'll draw a card. We'll draw a card. Uh, and we'll draw a card until we find the weapon. That is our life now. We don't need two lockpicks. And we don't need two matchboxes. And we don't need two jury rigs, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, <clears throat> those will be discarded at the end of the round. Then uh, we'll go to upkeep, we draw perception and uh, gain a resource and we'll discard something. So these are discarded and uh, I'm not sure. Well, we're not needing the lock picks because we have the old keyring. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's uh, so unfortunate. We uh, we only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Uh, we have twenty cards in the deck. And four of those cards help us find the weapon or get the weapon. So hopefully we get that next round. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, and uh, another Doom goes to the agenda. And uh, the encounter card is Deep Shadows. Uh, revelation test, will about three. This gets, uh, test gets plus two difficulty if your location is dark. If you fail, you must either to take to horror. The investigator who controls the veil lantern flips it to its unlit side and places it at the connecting location. Uh, I'm committing that card. And that's everything. So four versus three. It is an elder sign. So, uh, I could change this into a, another tool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm not doing it. If this would have only one one um, key re remaining, then maybe, but not like so. Okay, so we pass and um, first action, we'll draw a card. Tinker, mm, that could be useful. Okay, second action, 
yes, it is the chainsaw, finally. So, uh, then I'll do a, f a fast action, I'll play old keyring, or the tinker onto the old keyring. And it doesn't take up a hand slot now. And I'll play chainsaw down. And it costs three less, uh, I mean one, one resource less. Uh, and uh, uh, let's see, can we advance this round? At the end of the round, if each investigator is at the same layer location, they may spend the requisite clues. So this round we are doing that definitely. And uh, uh, no enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw a card, a vicious blow, nice. And we gain a resource and uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards, which is great. And we need to add supplies onto the chain so okay and now we are spending our clues to advance and it is the ursign hybrid so spawn we read codex text and uh, we'll read the act next. So where's Bertie? The trees close in as you follow Bertie's trail deeper into the forest. Action, spend one clue, look at the revealed side of an adjacent location. Objective, find Bertie Musgrave. He is lost deep in the forest. Do not advance until you are instructed. So, next we read the codex entry, the bear. And it is a long one. Choose the bravest investigator to read the following. Well, there's only me, so I have to be the bravest. The bear. You find a scrap of torn tweed caught on a branch that is unmistakably Bertie's. A red wheezing cough sounds behind you, accompanied by a scent of rot. You turn around. A hulking bear glows like ghost fire in the darkness. A, a colony of shimmering fungus on the creature's back lights up the murk with an eerie incandescence. The creature roars, then charges. Uh, check the set aside cards. If either Judith Park or Theo Peters are set aside, choose one of them to put into play under your control and immediately resolve their codex entry on this page. So we have both set aside, and I'm thinking I'll put, uh, because we're engaged with this huge enemy, we need more combat power. So we'll put uh, Judith Park into play and read her uh, codex entry. Uh, Eat this, you son of a bitch. A familiar voice comes from out of the darkness. Several shots impact the bear's soft multibody. The bear looks to its right just as another shot cracks its skull. Screeching in pain, it charges into the undergrowth towards the sound. More shots ring out. After that seems like an eternity. Judith Park emerges from the forest clutching a bleeding arm. You rush to dress the wound, but she waves you off. I'm fine. Just glad you're all right. Judith smiles cockily. Mother Rachel said you might uh, need some help. She also paid me a 20 to come out. Deal two dam damage to Judith Park. If Judith Park's note in Judith Park's notes record, Judith saved your ass. Uh, proceed to... Uh, the bear tree. Okay, so so we don't forget two damage on Judith Park. The bear tree. You flee the scene into the cops of dying trees and hold the lantern up, expecting to see the bear's goalish blue eyes reflected back in the dark. The forest is deadly quiet as you struggle to get your bearings. Move each un unengaged enemy to the pursuit area. Spawn the Urson hybrid enemy at your location, exhaust it and deal one damage to it. Uh, if it is not under the control of an investigator, choose an investigator to take control of the Veil Lantern. Uh, set aside each empty dark location to remake the wood deck. To do this, perform the following. Shuffle the set aside twisted hollow location with three random western woods 
locations together to form the bottom four locations of the woods deck, western woods side face up. Then place all of the other western woods locations to the top in a random order. All of the cards in the woods deck should be showing only the western woods side so that the investigators do not know which is which. Put locations from the top of the woods deck into play above, below and to the left and right of the investigator's location. Continue playing. Okay, so uh, uh, this enemy is at our location but it is exhausted. And it is not massive so we'll do this. So just mark it down on this location like so. So we didn't look at the Ursan hybrid cl more closely, so it has 5 combats, uh, 5 health plus 2 health per investigator, so 7, and 3 evade, and as, uh, yeah, we resolve the spawn effect, and Hunter retaliate, Ursan hybrid gets plus 2 health, we, uh, so it has 7. Uh, when Ursan hybrid would be defeated, if it is act 2, Heal all damage from it and put it in the pursuit area instead of the victory display. And it is uh, worth two victory points. Okay. Mm, so we removed all of these. Shuffle them with these. Then... If the, those are shuffled, one, two, three, and we need to get the Twisted Hollow, so shovel those. And uh, we put uh, these on top, and we put locations in play. And we are ready to continue. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. So uh, let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. Uh, we could uh, try to deal some damage to this enemy and run away. So uh, we'll add a doom so the agenda advances. So we again do this. So no enemies at our dark location. Shuffle each unrevealed dark location along with the top two cards of the woods deck and place them on top of the woods deck. I'm not doing it because we just shoveled them and we don't know which is which. And Put locations from the top of the wood stack, and uh, we don't do, need to do that. So we test. Um, oh yeah, we add one here. So we are testing three versus three wheel power. We don't have any any wheel power. To, um, okay, three versus three. No cards committed. Minus three, so we fail. So we had to. Where access, uh, if you fail, they must choose an enemy in the pursuit to spawn engage with them. Yeah, we have to take this talking hybrid. But uh, we can just uh, chop it down with the chainsaw. This flips back. Encounter card for this round is uh, Call of the Wild. Test Agility 3. If you fail, choose the nearest enemy that enemy attacks you. If you fail, then no enemy was chosen. Take two damage instead. Um, okay. I'm committing the fine clothes. Uh, we are testing 4 versus 3. Hoping to not fail, fail this test. Um, Fortunately, we don't have the wolf mask in play yet. I think I'm playing it this round. Zero, we pass, so that's okay. Okay, um, first action. Uh, we'll 
use the chainsaw. Uh, we are hitting four, five, six versus, and I'm actually uh, using the extra action from Judith Park to fight. So, uh, four, six versus three, and it is a minus two. So that enemy is dead. First real action. I think in preparation we want the wolf mask in play. We will also put a jury rig on to our. Actually, I'll play that cleaning kit. So it costs two, it has three supplies on it. Now uh, we can use the chainsaw for longer. And uh, we'll use the lantern to look at the next location. And we'll go this way this time. Or, or look here. So it's crooked path, and after you discover a clue at this location, look at the near real sign. Okay, so that's a good location to go. So we'll head there. And that is our turn. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. So the Ursan hybrid readies. And we draw a card. <laughs> prepared for the burst a bit late and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom and counter card for this round is another call of the wild. Okay, I think for this one we are using the wolf mask. With, uh, so we are Doing an agility five, ver I mean six versus three test. Elder sign. Uh, we are not changing any tools. Okay, so we pass. And uh, first action will investigate. And I'm using the old key ring. So we're investigating. Uh, Four, five, versus one. And it is the elder thing, minus four. We don't fail, we just barely succeed. And uh, we forgot to put uh, these locations into play when we moved here. So we'll do that now. Uh, there's five locations left, so these are not the location we are looking for. So, yeah, uh, we need to move. So again, I'm, uh, I'm using the lantern to peek. So action, we peek over here. <clears throat> uh, blighted glade, after you reveal blighted glade, choose an enemy in the portion. Okay, so we just move there. And uh, mm, then we will I think we will want to play the jury rig down. so that uh, we can hit better with the chainsaw. So we're pretty well set up to fight now. We have five charges on the uh, jury record chainsaw, so we could take down the uh, Orosan hybrid, but we don't yet want to defeat that because uh, 
Yeah, it is uh, because uh, let's see if it is at two heal or damage from it and put it in the pursuit area instead of the victory display. Well, we might need to do that at some point, but we'll see. Uh, so enemy face, this enemy hunts over here. Upkeep, we draw, find clothes, gain a resource. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We are another Doom. And counter card is Black Amanita. Two fight, two health, three evade, flora mutated. Uh, day aloof, night, it is massive. Forced after you discover a clue at Black Amina's location or a connecting location, it is if it is ready, take one direct horror. Okay, so this basically is massive, so I'll just put it onto that location there, or here. Mm, actually, I think it's still spawning into the... When, uh, mm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was on beneath here. Yeah, so now they are spawning on top of us, not into the pursuit. Yeah, so that changed when that uh, bear came out along. Okay, so uh, first action, or actually we'll do the bonus action on Judith Park. So we fight with the chainsaw. I'm using the cleaning kit for that. And we are not spending a jury rig token. So we are fighting six versus two to cut down this thing. So uh, minus four, so we pass and this, this uh, enemy is uh, sawn down. Uh, okay. I feel like we need these clues, so I will investigate. And uh, I mean, just investigating, um, I will use the perception this time and not the uh, old keyring. Uh, let's see, so we are three, four, five, six versus two. That gets us past the uh, minus four, uh, minus three. So good thing we committed a card. We draw Venturer, that's useful. And uh, we get this clue. And uh, we might as well use the Veil Lantern. And let's keep going this way. And it is the Twisted Hollow. So, fourth round, one clue. Uh, objective at the end of the round, if each surviving investigator is at the Twisted Hollow, investigators may spend two clues as a group to advance to Act, uh, act 2B. Okay, and uh, we put locations into play, uh, like so. And it is a victory point location, so I think I'll try to clear that before we do anything else. So we will investigate, and I'm using the old keyring. Actually, after the end of at the end of the round, yeah. So uh, I'll play the venture down first. We need more bodies on the on the table. So the venture has three supplies. So even more supplies to use on my chainsaw. So <clears throat> I, I'm th saying now that this build feels awesome to play. I, I have basically endless supply of uh, uh, fuel for my chainsaw now. So that that feels really awesome. Okay, we are um, exhausting the venture to move one charge over onto our chainsaw. And uh, yeah, now we are investigating with our last action and I'm using the old keyring. So we are four, five versus two. 
Do I have any any more? Yeah, I'll go six versus two, so we are ignoring the minus fours. Minus four, which is okay. We get this clue. Uh, the old keyring is discarded, so the tinker goes as well. We would have wanted the tinker onto the chainsaw, but yeah. We already had the old keyring in play, so we couldn't play it in other order. And yeah, enemy face, this enemy hunts over here. Upkeep, we draw scene of the crime and we gain a resource. And at the end of the round, we can spend two clues and advance to 2B. Out of the frying pan. Stay back, squeaks a familiar voice. A pine cone whistle, a pine cone whistles past your ear. Bertie peers out of uh, from a hollow in the massive trunk. It's you, he chirps excitedly. I thought I was done for, but here you are. His eyes go wide as a familiar wheezing roar echoes throughout the hollow. Put the set aside Bertie Musgrave story asset into play under the control of any investigator. Put each unengaged enemy in the pursuit area. Um, shuffle each other location except for the twisted hollow location into the woods deck and put them into play according to the diagram on page 36. So it's all in and out of play areas for the Ursan hybrid enemy. Heal all damage from it and spawn it at the twisted hollow. Advance the act an agenda deck to the back to veil special agenda moving all doom from the current agenda to it it is both the current act and the current agenda okay so that is a lot to do so uh, i will do that in between turns so uh, let's continue to the next round okay and we have done the mid game setup here so we have the twisted hollow in the middle uh, we spawned birdie musgrave uh, in our control and uh, burning gives us plus one health and plus one sanity and there's a fast trigger ability take either one damage or one horror and exhaust birdie musgrave parlay draw one card and read the uh, um, codex entry and after Bernie Mascara is defeated, set him aside out of play. So we're definitely doing that at some point. Uh, we also put the uh, Orson Hybrid um, to the pursuit area. Then uh, we set up the map again. So uh, we have this layout, which is uh, stated on the um, campaign booklet. Then uh, we spawn the Ursan hybrid to the Twisted Hollow, so I think neck, and we had to heal all the damage from it, so it's good thing we didn't soften it up beforehand. So now we need to deal 7 damage to it, and so that we can start looking for a way out. So, uh, back to the Veil. With Bertie in tow, you must find your way back to the Hemlock Vale. Uh, fast trigger ability, either exhaust the Vale Lantern or spend one clue as a group look at the real uh, side of an adjacent location. You may move to that location objective if each undefeated investigator has resigned for resolution 1. And uh, we moved all the Doom from the last um, agenda to this one, so uh, yeah. So uh, let's start the round. We add Doom, so we advance this agenda immediately, unfortunately. So, uh, the hunting forest. The forest closes in and the sound of slavering jaws and gnashing fangs fills the air. A sickly howl calls out from the underbrush and the familiar sound of a wheezing, hacking cough telegraphs the bear's approach. Add one resource to the current darkness level. If the current darkness level is 6, each surviving investigator is defeated and suffers from physical trauma resolution 2. Otherwise, in player order, each player must choose an enemy in the pursuit area and spawn it at the nearest dark location. If they cannot, they must discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until an enemy is discarded and spawn it at the nearest dark location. Flip this card. Okay. Mm. So no enemies in the 
for suit area, we add one resource here. So we are at four of six, so not that many turns left. And um, Yeah, we will start flipping cars, so yeah, we get this stalking hybrid. Okay. And this flips back, so... Uh, this spawns in the nearest dark location, so... I think we will want to try to find it. Uh, so let's spawn this enemy. At this uh, location. It is unfortunately a hunter, so it will start following us. But uh, yeah, uh, encounter card for this round is a swarm. Test uh, agility 3. For each point you fail by, you must either lose one resource or take one damage. I'm testing 3 versus 3, I can lose resources. Uh, minus one will lose one resource, so that that's okay. Okay, first action we'll use Judy Park's action. Uh, actually, first thing we do is uh, we'll take one damage on the Dr. Rosa Marquez and exasperity, and we draw one card, another chainsaw. And we get to read Bertie's uh, codex entry. Uh, what a predicament Bertie mutters under his breath. The young man, man fumbles with his pocketbook and starts sketching. When you tell him it's, uh, him this isn't the time or place for a nearby uh, for a nature study, he nods. Oh no, I apologize. It's a map, not a good one, mind you. His hand shakes and he draws. Uh, one last time. Yeah. I was here before. This is the way. He points through the trees. Either choose one. Each investigator gains one clue from the token pool. Already the Veil Lantern. We'll get the clue. And... Okay. Then uh, we will use the Judith Park's extra ability to fight. And uh, I'm just checking, uh, should I parlay with Judith Park anymore? No. Okay, so we're fighting. We are committing. Uh, Vicious blow to the test and using the jury rig. Uh, so we are fighting uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 versus 5. And Skulls is minus 4, so we hit and deal 4 damage to the enemy. Uh, first real action, we'll use uh, chainsaw again, and I'm using the charge from here. Oh yeah, we'll uh, use the venture to move one charge here, and I'm committing over power to the test. So we are uh, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten versus five. Minus one. So we defeat the Orson hybrid, and it is not that two. So this is uh, goes into the victory display. And we draw a card, and we get deduction, which might be useful still. And. Uh, we use uh, mm, the lantern should not be exhausted. Mm, okay, now we need to decide which way we want to go. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. Okay, well, uh, we'll uh, exhaust the lantern to look what's here. Uh, bear then. Uh, so after you reveal bear, then find an enemy in the pursuit of the highest android. If you cannot draw the top card of the encounter deck, but uh, we are using the lantern, so we ignore that effect. So we'll just go there and uh, we'll spend a clue to look here. Fly that glade, okay. We will move there. And uh, we'll just use this clue to look what's here. So, found ticket. Uh, we don't want to go there. Okay, so, fight, fight, move, move. And that is our turn. Uh, this enemy hunts onto us, so. to kill it next round. So, let's see. Uh, one damage and one horror. And we'll just take it on ourselves. Uh, after stalking hybrid attacks, if you control the Veil Lantern, flip the Flame Lantern to its unlit side and place it at your location. <coughs> okay. And upkeep. We draw another Tinker and gain a resource. So we took a damage and a horror, we uh, replenished the Wolf Mask. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, so we had a Doom and Counter Guard. For this round is uh, Black Amanita. Okay, so it's massive, so we'll just spawn it here. Okay, so we need to kill both of these so we can start moving out. Uh, first action uh, is to the free action to fight with Judith Park. We're just uh, u- uh, using the venture to move another resource here and spending the cleaning hit resource to fight with the chainsaw against the stalking hybrid and we are uh, four five six versus three so good act oh, yeah yeah I'm, I'm uh, spending the scene of the crime uh, committing it so seven versus three minus three we de- uh, we actually don't defeat because this yeah oh damn so three damage and uh, second uh, first real action is to kill off the black amanita elder sign okay uh, Nothing to change. Uh, we kill this one. And uh, we'll hit again. I'm using the wolf mask and one charge. Actually, we'll try to not use. Uh, well, we, we can still use a charge. Eight versus three. Minus four. So we defeat this this enemy also. Uh, we'll uh, fast action pick up the lantern, light it up. So uh, take control of the lantern, then flip it over. An investigator may do this. Okay. And uh, we will. Uh, fast action exhaust the lantern to look what's here. 
we don't want to go there. Okay, so this area we don't want to go. So we'll go here as our last action. No enemies will go to upkeep. Uh, we draw another uh, scene of the crime. And again, a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom and counter card for this round is uh, Poison Bloom. Uh, Poison Bloom gets plus one fight and plus one damage value for each overgrowth on it. At the end of the round, place one. Okay, so I'm just uh, using the chainsaw to first action or free action with Judith attack it. Uh, we're actually for first action, we'll do the uh, scene of the crime to get this clue. Then we'll do the Judith Parks action. Minus two, it is dead. Uh, we'll exhaust the lantern to look what's here. And move to it. And uh, we'll use our clue to what, see what's here. And that is where we need to go. And that is our last action. So we'll move here. And if each undefeated investigator has resigned resolution one. So next round we have to resign. So we'll go to upkeep, we draw vicious blow and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the hopefully the final round of the game. Uh, we still need to add one doom and uh, this gets one more of these. Let's see what else we need to, to do. Add one resource. Okay. We are at five, so we are still in time. Otherwise, in player. Uh, okay, so again, we need to discard cards from the top of the encounter deck. And again, we get this guy. It doesn't matter that much. Nearest dark location, so it spawns here, but that's that doesn't affect us. They flip this card back over, and we get the final encounter card, which is a swarm, which we will just test. And uh, I'm committing the wolf mask. Uh, we are five versus three. Minus five, uh, so we lose three resources and take. Uh, we only have two, so we'll take one damage, which replenishes the wolf mask. Oh, uh, sorry. After we engage an enemy, we replenish that. I was playing the survivor uh, mask recently, uh, so I'm mis misremembering how that replenishes. But yeah, first action, we will resign. A resolution one. Oh. Okay, let's see. Resolution one. Long spindly branches stretch like grasping hands as you emerge from the forest into the meadow, glowing with shimmering blue wildflowers. The sight of the brilliant carpet of blue and white ne nearly takes your breath away after the op oppressive darkness. Perhaps it is just your tired mind, but the heather and flowers seem to pulse. Luke birdie points in the, uh, with a trembling hand, a dozen of luminous stalks rise like floating lamps over the meadow, glimmering in the moonlight. I feel al almost as though we are walking amidst the cosmos, uh, that each of us is a little god. He plucks a glowing bud from its stalk, and each of these an even smaller star. 
Dr. Marcus slaps the flower out of his hand. That poetic drivel is what we got, uh, what got you lost in the woods. Um, uh, we risked life and limb for you. You'll be lucky if I leave this incident out of the survey report. Bertie hands his head, hangs his head in shame as the professor lists a litany of woes and misdemeanors. But still, you can't help but note the concern in Dr. Marcus's voice as she exoriates exer her assistant. As you return to the Vale, the sky stirs with the coming dawn. In your Campbellock record, Bertie was rescued. You'd skip, resol to skip to resolution 3. Uh, Miskatonic survey, June 1926, members Marquez, Musgrave and Ally. Uh, on unplanned foray into the western woods at night, local flora and fauna have evolved highly specialized behavior patterns after dark, likely dictated by extreme circadian rhythms and aggressive predation, a high toxic environment. Uh, in that identified a hitherto unknown symbiosis with the new strain of parasitic fungus. Further observation necessary. Each investigator earns one bonus experience as they gain insight into the Hemlock Isle's unique ecosystem. Each investigator earns one additional experience if an investigator resigned with Bertie Musgrave under their control. Uh, each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. Each investigator may now spend the experience recorded under unspent experience in your camp log. Update, update your camp log. If our sign hybrid is in the victory display record, um, the bear was wounded. In the area surveyed section in your camp log, check off western woods. Proceed to prelude dawn of the second day. Okay. Well, <clears throat> we have a two experience uh, in our unspent experience from the uh, last prelude. Then we got one from here, two from there and two bonus here. So that is a total of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so we have seven experience to upgrade our deck with. So uh, I need to consider what upgrades I will do, but uh, after I've done them, we will see in the next video, which will be the prelude, uh, starting with the pre uh, prelude dawn of the second day, which uh, we will continue to the second day scenario from. So, uh, the chainsaw is working. I'm really happy. <laughs> Once we found it, we got the deck working like intended. So I'm really, really happy about that. Uh, hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.